Hello friends, hope so you are fine. In this video, initially we will consider an hypoeutectoid steel and study its solidification mechanism by cooling it down from fully austenitic temperature range to room temperature. And then we will construct the time temperature transformation diagram for the hypoeutectoid steel and study some of its features. So friends, watch this video until the end. Welcome to the world of materials conceptual study. This is lecture 2 part 3 time temperature transformation diagram for the hypoeutectoid steel. So far, we have seen that in iron cementite phase diagram, if we have eutectoid steel and cool it down from the fully austenitic temperature range to the room temperature, then we get 100% pearlitic microstructure. And we have also studied the time temperature transformation diagram for the eutectoid steel. Now let's recall that to the left of this curve we have metastable austenite and this line indicates the start of pearlitic transformation and this line indicates the end of pearlitic transformation. To the right of this we have pearlite and in between these two curves we have austenite plus pearlite. Below the nose of this curve, we have BS which indicates the start of magnetic transformation and BF which indicates the finish of magnetic transformation. So to the right of it, we have bainite and in between these two lines, we have austenite plus bainite. The horizontal MS line indicates the temperature at which martyr site transformation will start and the horizontal line MF indicates the temperature at which martyr site transformation will finish. So in between we have austenite plus martyr site and below these lines we have only martyr site. Now let's consider a composition to the left of eutectoid which is termed as hypoeutectoid. Its microstructure above the upper critical temperature would consist of entirely of grains of gamma phase. As we cool it just below the upper critical temperature, we would reach in alpha plus gamma region. So small particles of alpha would start precipitating out along the original grain boundaries and is known as proeutectoid alpha phase. Just above the lower critical temperature but still in the alpha plus gamma region, the fraction of proeutectoid alpha phase will increase. As the eutectoid temperature is reached, the temperature will become constant and an invariant reaction called eutectoid reaction will start in which all the remaining austenite will then transform into pearlite which is actually a mixture of ferrite plus cementite. So below the eutectoid temperature, the microstructure will consist of pro eutectoid alpha plus pearlite mixture and no further changes in microstructure will observe on further cooling it down to room temperature. Now let's see how the TTD diagram for the hypoeutectoid steel will get modified. First of all, the A3 line which is the upper critical temperature line will be added here above which we have only austenite. Because of the formation of proeutectoid alpha phase, there will be an additional line above the nose of this diagram. This line indicates the start of austenite transformation to proeutectoid alpha and is denoted as Fs. And the region between these two curves will then become 
alpha plus gamma region. As this green line indicates the start of pearlitic transformation, so the region next to it will also contain pearlite. And the upper half region between the red and green line will consist of three phases that is proeutectoid alpha plus gamma plus pearlite. Finally, after the finish of pearlitic transformation, we will get proeutectoid alpha plus pearlite.